himself. So I was playing, well, I wasn't playing, I was watching Red Dead Redemption 2 the other day, and I saw this morality bar pop up where the player kills a person and they become worse of a person, but then they saved a person and they became better of a person. And I thought that was really funny because I was like, video game morality is silly. Like in real life, if I saved a hundred people as like a doctor and then one of them I just killed, well, it doesn't make me 99 plus savior minus one killer thing, right? Like, I would be thrown in jail. I'd have a problem. I'd be dangerous, right? Like, it wouldn't be something that you would just be like, oh yeah, you're mostly good. And so, I kind of expect real life to be a little bit more like this Mass Effect morality. Mass Effect has a bar that fills up if you do good and a bar that fills up if you do bad. And that's how it works. It doesn't really matter if you did good or bad. It just fills up the bar that it is. So 99 people saved and one person killed, you kill the person, that still matters. And that's something that I thought was the case, where video games just were not morally accurate. Except for Mass Effect. And then I was thinking about Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now this is a game that just came out, and in it, Ronald Reagan sends you to do war crimes. Yeah. There's this line. Is the threat real? Yes sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir. Their requests are highly irregular, most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold- What the hell are you talking about? Do you know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Every job they do is illegal. The Black Ops team is Black Ops because the point is they do things that aren't allowed, that aren't accepted according to the agreed upon rules of warfare. <laughs> like, oh my God, this is a perfect example of cowboy morality, where the argument is that the benefits outweigh the costs. So it's okay to send people off to commit crimes knowingly, sanctioned by the government, by the president himself, because a lot of people might die, according to this line. But that's the big thing, right? Like, a lot of, who's right in this situation? And that's where we go into the Mass Effects thing. Because if it was a Mass Effect argument, you would be like, war crime, no, don't do it. But because it's not a Mass Effect argument, the argument is like, well, mm, costs, benefits, that kind of thing. And I realized that there's going to be a lot of these in society. There's going to be a lot of cowboy moralities and space marine moralities, right? So one of the ones that popped in my head about this too was actually based off of very real world, pro-choice, pro-life. Uh, if you are pro-life, you know, you're someone who's anti-abortion, generally that means that you're kind of looking at it as a mass effect morality, where if any child is hurt, even if the mother is in danger, that's not allowed. But if you lean over to the cowboy morality of like, well, I still am pro-life, but I think that the mother, if she's gonna die, then it changes the story, will suddenly start looking at cost benefits differently. It's not a never ever Mass Effect situation. It's a, well, there are situations that it can be okay. So I'm pro-choice, for example. And as a person who's pro-choice, I can make the argument of something like, when there is more sexual education and more money to Planned Parenthood or various, you know, sexual health organizations, the numbers go down. And so even if you were pro-life, you would value something that's more pro-choicey because it lowers the overall number of abortions. The benefits outweigh the costs. But again, it's a really interesting situation where it's like, well, what's the best outcome? Just for a fun flipperoo, because I don't want to get into discussion about pro-choice, pro-life, I already stated what I am. Uh, you can also make pro-choice into one that is a morality Mass Effect style sort of thing by saying, well, you can't ever put laws on a woman's body, right? Like, that's her body. And if you do that, it just is a no. There's just a no. And then you can turn that into a cowboy morality where you're like, well, but we need laws to save lives. And so some freedoms can be taken away because overall it's better. The benefits outweigh the cost. <laughs> that got political. Point being is that there are two types of moralities. There is a sort of cowboy morality where you're kind of weighing the pros and cons and finding where you line. And then there's sort of this Mass Effect morality where a pro or a con can be so important that it doesn't matter any of the costs or other benefits. It's just the fact that it's happening or not happening is where the decision is made. And I think, for me, the, I should know that each one is going to be applying to different situations and I should do my best to understand where a person is making a decision and where I am so that we can kind of align our moralities because if we're both cowboy morality, we can sort of talk through this. But for both Mass Effect morality, it might be harder to talk it through. Anyway, interesting lesson.